Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Flipped on Flop. My name is Adrian Donovan, and in this video, we are going to be unboxing some more online arbitrage. So online arbitrage, that is pairs that we have bought online on platforms such as eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, in the hopes of making a nice profit. Uh, these are pairs that have been bought by myself and my wife, um, if this is the kind of content you think you might like, please consider subscribing. I would very much appreciate it. With that being said, guys, let's go ahead and jump in. Now, in this video, I think the majority of these are from eBay. Now, I do not know exactly what to expect with these pairs unboxing them for the first time in front of you guys. So let's see what we got together. First up, we have a pair of women's Prada ankle boots. They have the front zip here. Make sure the zipper works. It's a little bit tough. Might need to get sprayed to make it a little bit smoother. Not good guys, not good. This pair is clearly falling apart. The glue job has gotten a lot weaker over the years. These are fairly old Prada boots and just from their age alone, it has made it to where the glue is no longer able to hold on. This is why you need to check everything, especially with online arbitrage, because if you're going to be paying $50 to $60 per pair, you need to make absolute sure that it's a good pair. So these are going to definitely need to get fixed at the cobbler. Check the zipper on this one. Okay, this one's a lot smoother than the other boot. They are genuine Prada. Bit of a smaller size, five and a half. They have a little bit of heel wear, not too bad, not too excessive. But we will definitely need to get these glued. Um, the reason why you'd wanna check something like this, especially is because if we did not check this and we sold these and the customer got them, they would be falling apart on them the first or even maybe the second time they wore these and they would be obviously quite upset. So I'm glad that we found it already. Not a flop, maybe. We'll have to see what we gave for these. Let's see what we gave for this pair. Okay, so it looks like we gave $43.50 for this pair. It's a pretty good price for a pair of women's Prada ankle boots. And they are pretty interesting. They do have the front zip. They have like a kind of like a sock here in the back. I'm going to actually be taking uh, a lighter to this and very gently kind of burning parts of this fabric to make it look a bit cleaner, a bit better. The boots, the uppers overall are in really good condition. We will go ahead and polish. There is like a little bit of like scuffing to the toes, but this, that'll polish up pretty well. Once we get these glued, since they are pretty interesting, uh, I think we could probably get 120-ish for this pair. I would probably shoot for a bit more if they, were a bit of, if they were a better size. They are kind of on the smaller end. So after fees and shipping, we should stand to profit about $50 on this pair. Uh, we will have to pay initial, an additional $5 to get these glued with a cobbler, but that's pretty cheap. So definitely not a flop, just a disappointment. Pair that comes with the box, and I wish they would have put them in an external box to prevent this box from getting any kind of damage. We have a pair of Gucci. Box has a bit of damage to them. Just gonna tape it up. 
Comes with the dust bag. It's always what you like to see. Has a strange kind of musty smell to them. Gonna have to spray the box a little bit. So nothing special with this pair at all. I do know I got these quite cheap and that's why I even bought them to begin with. It's just a really vintage pair of Gucci slingback. Have a bit of scuffing to the back here. It looks like they actually polished these shoes already, which is nice of them. Saves me the trouble of doing that. Looking at the other shoe, let's see. They are genuine, by the way. They're just quite vintage, probably from the late 80s, early 90s, if I had to guess. But considering their age, they're in good condition. One thing you really need to check for with these vintage pairs of shoes is that these heels, they often get really hard and they just crack into pieces. Of course, that's something that we're going to need to address because we don't want the customer to get these and the heels fall apart, just disintegrate from the first wear. It's gonna make them pretty upset. These are definitely going to fall apart, no doubt about it. These heels are old, they're dry, and they will for sure fall apart, no doubt about it. As you can see, they're already kind of like coming apart just from me not doing much to them. So just imagine if there is somebody's full weight on these heels, they're just going to be completely falling apart. Definitely not something you want to happen if you're like out like on a night out or something and your shoes are falling apart. You can understand it when a customer would get quite upset if that happens. Thankfully, I did get these for really cheap. Um, I think I will be getting a partial refund on this pair because they are effective. Let's see what we gave for this pair. So we only gave $21.39 for this pair. That's very, very cheap, uh, but they will need to get the heels fixed, um, which the heels, that's $15 getting those fixed. So we're looking at $36. However, I think I'm going to be shooting for a $10 partial refund with the seller since they are damaged and unwearable. I'm going to get the heels fixed. They even have the original price on the box here of $345, which is quite high because these are, these are pretty old. And they don't have anything on them that say they're Gucci. Once we get the new heels on them, that will make them a bit more valuable and sell faster. I would probably sell these for 100 I don't think they're worth really much more than that. Maybe a little bit more since they do have the dust bag and the box. But I, I'm pretty, I feel pretty safe at 100 I think they'll move pretty quickly for that. So after fees and shipping, it's going to make it to where we should profit about 50 on this pair. Moving right along, we have another pair that looks like it might be from eBay. Don't know if I said, but we have we have seven pairs to go over in this video. What we have here is another pair of Gucci. It's a pair of women's horse bit pump heels. This pair is is very old. A little bit of heel wear, not too excessive. I'm gonna make sure the hardware nice and secure, not going to fall off. Make sure the shoe's not going to fall off, fall apart. They seem nice and secure. I'd probably say this pair is from the 
early 2000s, mid, mid 90s, maybe even they're, they're fairly old, but they're, they're in pretty good condition though, considering their age. Definitely, definitely uh, genuine, overall good condition. Let's see what we gave for this one. So we gave $54.68 for this pair. I think we could probably sell these for 120, maybe 130 at most. I would shoot for more if they were a little bit more modern, but considering they're fairly old, I don't see them going for much more than that. After fees and shipping, we should send a profit about $40 for this pair. Not great, but not bad. The pair is pretty well packaged. Have this. This is a pair of Mark Nason ankle boots. This is one of my favorite brands, I'd say, to buy. They are a small size, seven and a half. They're in really good condition, though. I really only look for Mark Nason that is made in Italy. Uh, Mark Nason, they do have some that are a part of Skechers. They have a Skechers line. Those are not worth buying really almost at all. Um, they will not sell that well unless you get super lucky. These have the nice harness with the dragon here. They have like dragon also on the, on the boot itself and the dragon on the zipper a little bit of factory distressing they're overall in really good condition really good find nice and clean on the inside both zippers work well let's see what we gave for this one Looks like we gave $38.02 for that pair, for this pair. That is a great, great price, especially considering what good condition they're in. Uh, like I said, they are a small size, so I won't be able to get as much for this pair. But since they are in such good condition, I think I should be able to sell these for $140 to $150. So, with that being said, after fees and shipping, we should stand to profit about $80 to $90 on this pair. That is a really, really strong profit margin. We've got three more to go through here. So, so far, we've had a couple that are pretty good. And we've had a couple that have had a bit of some surprises. The kind of surprises you don't like. My glue coming undone. And heels falling apart. But, that's part of it. You never quite know until you actually get them and examine them. Because a lot of times, the sellers, they don't always provide a very good description. Here we have a pair of Prada ankle strap sandals. Now what makes this pair nice is that they are genuine crocodile here. You can definitely tell they're genuine crocodile. And they also have like the studs on the side. It's a pretty nice little little accent to the shoe. Do see that the heel is darn near off, which is disappointing. That'll need to get glued back on. And it seems like the other heel is actually fine. Uh, 
or maybe not. It's coming pretty much it's coming pretty much right off. Yeah. It's not gonna do. These are going to need to get professionally glued back by a cobbler. Because again, if we were to sell these and we did notice this problem with the shoes, there's a very good chance that whoever wore them, the heels would come right off and they would be of course upset about that. It's a shame, they're in overall really good condition. No damage really to the crocodile skin uppers. A little bit of wear to the foot bed, but not excessive. Let's see what we gave for this one. So it looks like for this pair we gave $37.94. That's a pretty good price. Um, so with women's shoes, we don't do that well with exotic skin. And in this case, the price was right. Uh, and unfortunately, the heels will need to get glued back on, so that's five, five extra dollars cost uh, for our cobbler to have the heels glued back on. Putting it at $42.94 total. With them being full crocodile and them having like the kind of nice studs on the side, can probably sell these for maybe, maybe 120. I don't think we'll be able to get any more than that for them. Uh, with that being said, guys, it's gonna make it to where our estimated profit on this pair. I don't think we'll be able to get any more than that for them. Uh, with that being said, guys, it's gonna make it to where our estimated profit on this pair is $55. Almost to the end here. We have two left to go over. Here is another one that is from eBay. <laughs> okay, guys, this is definitely a flop. I can already tell. So, this would make you think it's a pair of Prada. But I could tell as soon as I touched the material and as soon as I picked them up out of the box that they are not genuine Prada. Now, there are quite a few indicators for this. Uh, for starters, the Prada logo, it is not centered at all with the little design they have here and the Prada on the side. The stitching is quite sloppy, very uneven. The materials themselves are low quality. The shoe itself is really lightweight and low quality. The insole, the Prada on the insole is barely legible. And the bottom of the insole is just some kind, some kind of cheap inserted insole here. It's this very cheap feeling. Not only that, but the serial number is also something you don't typically see with Prada. It just pretty much has like, you can see it. It's definitely not genuine Prada. I'm 100% certain of it. So these will be getting returned. These are for sure a flop. This was not a good buy. However, we can just very easily return these and it'll be no problem. But yeah, these are very, very fake. No doubt about it. It's unfortunate, but it does happen. And guys, we're moving on to the last pair. As you can see, they come in a huge, huge box. I think I know what pair this is, but we'll not know for sure until it's opened up. So let's go ahead and open it up. It looks like it is the pair that I thought it was. And I really, really hope these are in just as good condition as the picture showed because 
I did kind of pay up for this pair. We have a pair of Salvatore Ferragamo in box. And this pair, they come with both dust bags. It's a very nice addition. Now what makes this pair extra special? As you can see, it's a nice pair of ankle boots. They have like a nice buckle on the side here, but very importantly, they have the horse bed hardware on the side, which people definitely associate with Salvatore Ferragamo. Not only that, but they are also extra wide width and you can always sell wide width shoes for a lot more money. They are extremely clean inside. Let's look at that. Very, very clean inside. Um, there's no way this person wore these more than five times. Very good condition. I don't see any problems with the boots, or at least with this one. Make sure the fastener works. It does. Sometimes you will get on an arbitrage where the buckle is broken or it's missing this little metal tab here, something. But no, these this, this boot is excellent. Make sure it's nice and secure to the sole, it is. I will go ahead and polish these up, of course, to make them look a lot cleaner and nicer, but they already look great. Let's check out the other one, see how it looks. Little bit of scuffing to the toe, just like the other boot, but that's really easy to, to kind of clean. The buckle's in good shape. The horse bit hardware is in excellent condition, nice and secure, very clean on the inside. Same size as the other boot too, thankfully. They're both 10 extra wide. Very, very nice pair of boots. I really wish they had the original sticker on this box. Well, they have the stickers on the box, but I wish they had the original price tag on it. Because I wonder how much these were new. I'm sure they were quite expensive. I wouldn't be surprised if they were somewhere around $1,000 new. Looks like it's the twist model. Okay, so we gave $101.66 uh, 60 for that pair of Salvatore Ferragamo uh, horse bed ankle boots. That is for sure like a bit more than what I normally give for a pair of online arbitrage, but this pair for sure called for it. Uh, they have the box, they have both dust bags, they're in excellent condition. The horse bit, extra, uh, extra wide. It's a very, very nice pair. Um, I think I can probably get about $300 for that pair and maybe take a little bit of patience. But for this pair, I'm willing to wait. But since they are in such good condition and include all the things they do, they may not actually take that long to sell. Um, so with fees and shipping, we should stand to profit about $150 on that pair. It's a very nice find. Um, very glad that I got them. Uh, and honestly, I'm surprised that I was able to get them for as cheap as I did. But uh, I'm not complaining. <laughs> Guys, I think it's going to pretty much wrap up this video here. I do want to quickly go over. So taking out the, the fake Prada loafers here. Let me make a few adjustments to the spreadsheet. That way the numbers are accurate. Okay, so the total estimated revenue for these pairs is going to be $910. The total item cost is $312. The total estimated profit is $443. Making it to where our average revenue per pair is $151. The average item cost is $52. And the average estimated profit is $750.
$74 each pair. Very, very solid. Exactly the kind of numbers that we're looking for with online arbitrage. Guys, feel free to comment, leave a like, and subscribe if you like this kind of content. It would be very much appreciated. Hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you in the next video.